All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're back to check out more features of any video converter, namely its ability to download videos, and then we're going to merge them into a single video just for kicks. So I went ahead and I grabbed some sample video links off of TikTok, just so we can check that out. And when you go to the video downloader, you can paste in videos from any of the most popular video sites, including the one we're on now, but I won't show you how to do that. And then just plunk their URLs in here in order, making sure there's at least a space between them. And then you should be able to then just click analyze. And then from there, it will actually just grab the videos for you to download. So here it's loaded the two videos. We can even change like what they're called up here. Like we can call this uh war game sample, and then we can call this one um, personal backyard coal train. And then you can decide what, video quality that you want to download them in. You can have it download the video with audio, video only or audio only, which is handy for people that just want to grab an MP3 either to use in a project or to add to your personal sound or music library. Then down here you have two options. You can either do automatic quality, which will just try to grab it in the highest quality possible or medium or low, whatever you specify or you can actually get into the nitty gritty and you can actually specify, oh, I want this in a MP4 or a WebM format. I want the audio to be, you know, M4A or Opus or MP3. And then I want the resolution to be all the way up to 8K. It'll even convert it to 8K if you want with a specified high bit rate, high audio bit rate, and you can even force conversion of downloaded vi videos to a specific format if you want, but because TikToks are vertical in a uh, recording format, I'm just going to leave it at auto. That way it'll just grab whatever resolution it is when I start the download. So then I'll just click start. And this should be relatively quickly, like these aren't particularly big videos. And then boom, that's done. It'll give me a notification when it's done, if in case it's a really big video. And then I'll just view the output file. So inside the output file, you can see. So then I can click on play. Let me just actually, I won't mute this just so you can make sure that you can tell that there's actually audio in this. But now when I play it, you can see that it plays just fine. It's nice and smooth. It's whatever the original frame rate and video quality was when I downloaded it. Yeah, that does a really nice job of downloading videos. And it works on pretty much anything that it can detect the source of a video for, so go nuts. Now, the other thing I want to do with this is I want to use these same videos to smush them together. So I'm going to merge these videos together, which wants me to select videos that I want smushed together. And I'm going to click open on these two most recent videos. And then once I'm in here, it gives me a few options to play around with the videos that I'm merging to add different effects. So it'll actually let me rearrange like what order these are in. If I want the first one to be second or the second one to be first, whatever, I can play around with that by just clicking and dragging them into whatever order you, I want. And then I even have the option down here to click on this transition and add a transition effect if I want. I can also add additional videos by clicking on this button up here. I can add images from my computer if I have ones that I want to add as well, if I want to create a slideshow. So this is more about creating a visual presentation than it is about just smushing together a couple of videos. And then I can even over here for the output settings, I can select things like, oh, I want this to be the same resolution as the original. And then once I've got the arrangement of all the items that I want set up here, the way that I want it, I can also go to the output settings over here in the right hand side. And I can say, oh, well, you know, I want this to be a specific preset resolution, or I can even select custom, or I can say, oh, I want this to be the same as the original source files. 
So I want that to be like maximum resolution possible between these two so that it looks as good as possible when I take it to be a part of like, say, a work presentation. And then I can set the frame rate to be either maximum frame rate, minimum or automatic. I'm just going to leave it at auto because both these videos seem to be at a pretty good frame rate. And then you can select your maximum bit rate for videos off of TikTok, probably 10,000 kilobytes per second or 10 megabytes per second is more than enough. Um, I, I can talk about frame rates and bit rates in another video some other time, but that's a good frame rate and bit rate for us right now. And then we also want for like filling method, this will be like if there's any empty spaces or a difference in resolution between the videos, it'll either fill the empty space with black borders or crop the video. I'm just going to let it fill it with black uh, bars and that should be fine. And then the output, I'm just going to call this the merged sample. And then I'm going to click start. So because these are pretty short videos, this shouldn't take but a moment for it to process. And one of the nice things about this software is it is hardware accelerated. So it will use things like your GPU in order to export your videos faster when possible. Although that doesn't work with absolutely every video file type. And so then when I pull over the sample, all right, so let's take a look at this sample. So here you can see it's still really nice quality. It's still a really nice solid frame rate. So it didn't do anything bad to the frame rate when it merged two different videos together. It reprocessed both of them to be a lot smoother. And then there it had my little transition, although it was really quick. So you might want to slow those transitions down if you want to preview them fully. But then it goes right into this other video. Frame rate still smooth. Aspect ratio still smooth. And uh, it looks like it did kind of fill in some of the blanks here on the side with black, which is fine. That's exactly what we wanted. So yeah, that's a look at how to download videos and to merge videos with any video converter. Um, I hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.